Xinjiang Hospital has around 1,000 beds, which generate around uh, 17,500 cases a year, pathology cases, and they uh, generate around 80,000 slides a year. If, in general, you would ask to a student, uh, will you do pathology, then they will tell you, oh no, I get a headache from staring all day long into the microscope. So digital pathology will make an end to this. First of all, as you can see, our desks are clean. We don't have slides anymore uh, on our desks, which is a fantastic thing. The second thing is I go home without neck pain. That's great as well. And the third thing they are the collaboration tools. Uh, digital pathology allows us to share cases. As it's very easy to share with the click on the mouse, to share a case with a colleague in the department or wherever in the world where there is internet. Before we spend a lot of time uh, sorting out uh, slides uh, by case number and by pathologist, and now we just have to put the slides into the racks and uh, load them into the scanner. Uh, through our LIS, the slides are assigned to the correct pathologist. So um, that way uh, it makes the work less stressful for the lab technicians and there's more balance in uh, their job. First of all, it's very easy to handle. With the mouse and the wheel of the mouse, you can magnify the slide or go back. Second thing is you can make measurements. Any pathologist uh, every day has uh, superficial basal cell carcinomas. As they know, if they measure less than one millimeter, it, you can treat them with a topical abrasive cream. And if they measure more than one millimeter, they have to be surgically excised. So the uh, tools that are very easy to use in digital pathology can help you very much with this. Since digital pathology, I can tell you we sleep better as the patient safety has improved a lot. This because of the unique barcode where the request form through this barcode always connected to the right slides. Another example of working with digital pathology is uh, the interpretation of immunohistochemistry stains. As all pathologists know, a key 67 is uh, uh, interpreted visually. And in some cases, it's very important if the positivity is either 14% or 16%, and can even decide uh, whether to give chemotherapy or not to a patient. So we're still in the validation phase of this, of this but it can be very decisive in, in therapy. In lymphoma pathology, you always have a lot of immunohistochemistry stains. With digital pathology, you can open up to 10 slides in one screen and you can align them and then it's very easy to compare different regions in the same lymph nodes. Another big advantage of digital pathology is uh, when, we go, when we have multidisciplinary consulting meetings. It's mostly it's in another location where we don't have the slides available. With digital pathology, this is history. We just log into the system and we have all the slides available of all the patients that are discussed. The next steps for uh, our department regarding digital pathology is the validation of the HALO software. And the other step is to, uh, to expand the digital platform consultancy where we will try to add as many hospitals as possible, either national or international. Digital pathology in difficult and diagnostically difficult or rare diseases will lead to centralization of expertise to, through the consultancy platform and this will lead to expert diagnosis and this at the end will lead to the best patient care.